to talk to you a little bit about feeding and making sure that our little guys, especially those that are under five pounds and under three pounds, make sure that they get um, extra feeding to make sure that they're getting enough nutrition. Keep in mind that little dogs have tiny stomachs and they do need to eat more often, more frequently, smaller amounts because they can only hold so much food at a time. We, we want to be careful to make sure that our dogs don't get hypoglycemia, which is caused when they don't get enough food, their sugar drops, and their body starts to kind of shut down and react in ways that are unhealthy and unsafe for little dogs. So we have a prevention of that by doing a feeding chart. As you can see, it's non lunchtime right now. These guys, the Cavalier and the Pomeranian Rat Terrier and the Havanese are eating their midday meal. And on this chart, you'll find this chart located in, um, in your store and each store will have labeled out the dogs that are being fed, every dog in the store, and they should have an AM, a midday, and a PM. Now, if your dog is under three pounds, if you have any dogs under three pounds, they'll actually have a separate list just for those dogs so that we make sure we get weights on them on a daily basis, make sure that they're gaining weight, not losing weight, and make sure that we get, pay special attention to any dog under three pounds. This is just your everyday feeding chart to make sure that everybody eats. And as you'll find on this list, it specifies, yes, they ate. So you'd put your initials under which time slot you fed for. You'd put um, a Y if they ate with just dry food. Or like these guys in this situation, we added hot water to make sure that they ate and they're chowing it down and doing really well. Um, sometimes you have to add a little bit of mixed food. So a little bit of wet food, a little bit of dry food after you've added hot water. And then every once in a while, whoops, Every once in a while, you may have to force feed. So we have another video that discusses how to make sure dogs eat. Make sure that you watch that as well. Today, we're just talking about a little bit about the responsibilities of both sales and pet care to make sure that the dogs eat every day, um, at least twice a day for your average size dogs. And for your small dogs, we feed three times a day. Any tiny dogs under three pounds, probably going to eat at least four times a day, maybe more. So get to know this chart. You'll be using this on a daily basis. Everybody is responsible to make sure that if they feed the dogs during the morning, afternoon, or evening that everybody that they put food in front of that they did eat and they record the information here. So that's a little bit about that. Another thing I want to talk to you today about is how to recognize a healthy puppy or an unhealthy puppy. And so it's your job as an employee, whether you're a salesperson, a pet care person, a party coordinator, a bather, or a manager, it's your job to make sure that the puppies are healthy at all times. When you are looking at our puppies, you should see a couple of things. And I'm going to show you right here. <laughs> the puppy should be bright and alert and responsive, as this one is. Um, they should have clear eyes, no discharge in their eyes, no discharge out of their nose. Um, and clear discharge is okay, tearing is normal, like the red tear stains that you see sometimes like this guy has, that's pretty normal. But if you see anything mucusy or green coming out of their eyes or nose, that is um, probably the start of an infection. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you tell your manager right away and they'll talk to the vet about the protocol that's proper to go ahead and, and move forward to get that dog better. So um, that is how to recognize like some of those things. You also can keep an eye out for things like coughing and sneezing. Um, if the dog, <laughs> this dog is definitely not lethargic, but if the dog is lethargic and not getting up, not moving around, not responding when you make noises, Um, those are the things you want to watch out for. Puppies should be active and playful. And if you ever have a dog that you feel, hey, 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 got to keep an eye out for that too, making sure that people, the puppies aren't wrestling too hard. Um, but keep an eye out for those kinds of things. Eating and, and their stool, um, how much they eat and the stool that comes out is actually a great way to know if the dog is healthy. Um, and a stool should be firm and not loose. If you ever see watery or diarrhea, make sure that you alert the manager on duty um, and uh, they will go forward with the vet's protocol of what to treat those dogs with. But make sure if you see something, say something to one of your managers. It's very important that you guys are the first line of defense for making sure that our puppies are healthy and that they're feeling good and acting normal, eating the right amounts and having normal stools. That's the best way to know that the dog is healthy. So that's really important. We really appreciate that you guys are being a part of making sure that the dogs are healthy and doing well all the time. Thanks for your help and uh, I appreciate all that you do.